Hey folks, Joe here. This is the third video of my series preparing to go on my camping trip, my nine day canoe trip. And this will be the last video probably before um, the actual trip videos. So this video is going to cover my food. My food for nine or ten days in the backcountry, canoeing, portaging, carrying everything I own and need and have to use on my back. So, this is my food. This is a big old outdoor research dry bag. Uh, it's got a roll top on the top. I like it because I can. it's waterproof. I don't have to worry. I can hang my bear bag food at night and it's going to stay dry. I've got a little carabiner connected uh, to a little clip not connected to the buckle itself, not around here, but around this extra little belt buckle kind of thing on the, the bag itself. So it's not stressing the clip and uh, it'll hang up fine. This weighs a lot. This has got to weigh 13 pounds, but what are you gonna do? When I'm on these long trips, these, these trips where I'm working hard, where we're moving all day long, where we we're looking forward to getting to the fire at night. I do want some booze. Um, and in this situation, I think the most strong is the best idea because then I don't have to carry too much of it. And this stuff is heavy, obviously. So I bought myself a 26er of 40 Creek Copper Pot. Really good whiskey. Uh, that's about three shots a night if I'm there for nine nights. So that's okay. I can handle three shots a night. In all honesty, when I'm there at, at night, it's just to, to make the the body stop aching basically and uh, to get a little bit better sleep and three shots is right around perfect for me. So I'll be about a shot or two shy I'm sure by the end of it but we'll just mooch off of Kyle again. Don't tell him that. He, he told me on the phone that I wasn't allowed to do that this trip but we'll see. <laughs> to cook all of my food in, I went through this uh, in my gear video but it's okay. Uh, to show you quickly. I'm doing dehydrated meals for supper, uh, meals that I dehydrate on my own. And this Snow Peak 900 titanium is going to be my pot, my everything to eat in, my, my drinking, everything. It's got a little frying pan lid. I might use for some fish, but probably not. Most likely just cook it over the fire of the fish. And then again, my Bush Buddy stove is going to be my only source of cooking other than the fire, but I'm going to rely on this. So that out of the way, the lid sucks. Did I tell you that yet? The lid sucks. With that out of the way, we can get to the meat huh? of the uh, of the food. <laughs> that was corny. All right. I'm just going to pull all of this out very quickly to kind of show you how much roughly is in there. And then maybe I'll break away and get it all set up, organized, and show you exactly what I'm doing. There's the, oh no, no, no. There's the gist of it. So what I've done for the most part is separate things into big freezer bags. I've done it for most of it anyways. Um, yeah, so the idea being I have my lunch in one, I have my suppers in one, my breakfast in one, and my snacks in one. So there are exceptions. I do have snacks here, here, suppers here, and jerky here that weren't in them. I just couldn't fit. I couldn't find a spot for them, so they're fine by themselves. Before I go any further, I forgot to mention, I will not be carrying my booze in this glass jar. I'm going to be picking up a Powerade bottle on the way, drinking the Powerade, putting this in the Powerade bottle, and carrying it that way. I've done it in the past, it'll hold it fine, and I can burn the Powerade bottle after when I'm done, or use it for an extra uh, water vessel. But, not bringing glass. Point of the story. Okay, so, let's start. Uh, let's start with suppers. So on this end, I've got I've got three suppers each, right? Three, nine meals, nine dehydrated suppers that I've made. Three, three, and three. The first kind I made is ground beef and rice and vegetables. So all I did was I bought like a pound and a half of ground beef. I did like two and a half cups of rice and I don't know, 
about a cup and a half vegetables, mixed vegetables being uh, green beans, carrots, uh, corn, lima beans, uh, that might be it in there. So along with those, that's very bland. That's the worst tasting one by far. It gets very boring. That's why I'm switching it up big time. But to go with these ones, I've got some Frank's Red Hot, just a normal kind of Frank's Red Hot. I find even with my IBS, I'm, I'm able to eat Frank's Red Hot because it's so simple. There's only like five ingredients in it. I like this stuff. So what I'm going to do is alternate. I'll do, I guess I'll, I'll move on first. So this is my chili. This is homemade chili dehydrated again in my dehydrator at home. I've got three hefty portions of it. And then I've got three hefty portions of spaghetti or pasta or whatever you want to call it. Um, spaghetti sauce, macaroni noodles, tons of stuff in there like meat, mushrooms, peppers, uh, onions. There's tons and tons of stuff. Really, really well done by my wife. So three hefty portions of that as well. And what I'll do is I'll alternate. I'll start off with spaghetti. Next night it'll be uh, beans and rice. Next night it'll be chili. And then the same for, for nine nights or however I want to do it. But I will be alternating and hoping to supplement with fish as well. But nine nights, nine meals. And even if I am, th these are very big portions. So if I want to save a quarter of them in each before, uh, without cooking a quarter of them, I could probably make 10 meals out of it. But I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so lunch time. We're gonna do, this is a dry salami, uh, like a, it's not a Genoa, um, just a dry salami, smoked salami. And I've got three pieces times nine days, okay, in there. And then I've got 10 flatbreads all in here. I've got five, about 10 Baby Bell to go with my lunch every day. So I'll be putting my Lunch meat, all my wraps, ripping up some baby bell, putting it in there and just devouring that. And then with that, or for snacks or whatever, I'm going to be having bars mostly. So I have these chewy uh, chocolate chip Quaker bars. I've got that many of them. Sorry, one more. I've also got these Nutra Valley sweet and salty roasted mixed nut ones. And then I think that they're all the same ones, but I've got a handful of those as well. I've got one Cliff Bar. I've got these Sun Ripe fruit to goes. They're gluten-free, nut-free, they're vegan, if that matters to you. They're all made of uh, fruit. Let me, let me see if I can get apple puree concentrate, apple and pear, elderberry, strawberry, watermelon, citrus, nothing really bad. Uh, does not contain peanut, tree nut, gluten, or, and it's vegan, like I said. So anyways, these are really good. They're, they're going to get you your dose of fruit that you need. I've got a uh, strawberry watermelon. I've got a uh, berry one. I've got a blueberry one. And then like a raspberry one. So I've got this many of those. I've got some packs of raisins. <laughs> As a treat, I've got like five York peppermint patties, the chocolate ones. That's just like a creature comfort. Got a nice fat sack of M&M peanuts. I've got party mix. This is my favorite kind of chip. Uh, so there's, there's uh, pretzels, cheesies, corn chips, ringolos. They're a barbecue flavor, so I've got two of those. I've got a pound of jerky, about, about a pound of jerky. This is really, really good tender jerky too. Oh, for breakfast, I'm doing oatmeal. I'm doing two packs of oatmeal each breakfast and I will be just ripping the tops off of these, pouring the hot water in and eating with my spork right over the thing, no mess. Uh, as far as these meals go, like I said, they're being cooked in my pot, but I will, I'll bring a, um, a, green, excuse me, a green scrubby and I'll probably end up hanging my pot with my food at night because it'll have scent of food in it. I'll most likely be stopping a few places with Kyle along the way. And I'm going to grab some more bars, some pro bars, some cliff bars, um, just to have extras. Because I still do have a little bit of room in this bag with everything in it. And why not? You know what I mean? I'm going to be out there for so long. I, we are going to get fish, hopefully. So that will take up stresses off of some some suppers 
But in all honesty, I'm not going to stop and eat a, piece, a, a half a supper for our snack on the trail. Um, maybe I'll cook a shore lunch. Well, I, I will hope, hopefully be cooking shore lunch with fish. I might cook a shore lunch with some of the suppers I have if I've eaten fish on a previous night and have a supper banked away. We'll see. But moral of the story is I will be getting a couple more bars along the way. Um, I'm pretty happy with my food this time. I've got it dialed in. I, I've been been doing that the past few times pretty good. I've been, been leaving with only a couple a couple bars left or a little bit of jerky left, you know, eating it on the last day or whatever. So that's that's exactly my goal. I think on this trip I do plan to have a little bit of extra food just in case because uh, maybe more of a safety net. So, all right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the trip videos. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hey. Hello? Hey.